Why eat in a day? Today I'm getting my hair and nails done. But first I have to pop into Maury's and get some bracky. I got an iced coffee, obviously. And I don't know why I went for this boring cheese sarnie, but I ripped the crust off. No mayo, no butter. It was I, I don't know what it is over there in the UK, but you guys have a serious issue with Tanner and for some reason plastic surgery, I had not known it was this big of an issue until I saw this creator who I wasn't even fully aware of until I watched Corey's World and I saw that this person was in those videos and they like collab sometimes and I guess they're good friends and I just, I, I was looking at this woman and I thought, what is up with this woman? Like, what why does her face move? Why does she have so much like... Her face looks so irritated. It looks like she's been like babysitting a beehive or something. And I'm not here to like make fun of anybody's physical appearance or anything like that. I just want to know what is going on with so many people in the UK tanning themselves. I mean, we're literally, what is the, the discoloration I've been seeing in people's faces over there is insane. Is it, is it just because you guys don't have the sun? Is it, is it because you guys don't have the natural aura, the sunlight itself to cascade and, and glisten off your skin that you got to emulate it in some other way? Why is it so drastic? It's just such a different change. And this girl specifically is, I don't know why she goes so overboard. She does this like every month. I've been really in deep with her content and every month. Um, she's been getting fillers, and she's been doing up her face, and she's been getting tanned out like crazy, and her face just doesn't move. It just doesn't move at all, and there's almost no interaction. Like You can't see anything in her face when she smiles or anything, and it's very difficult, too, because I feel like it's very uncomfortable to have to move your face around and have no movement. That looks so ungodly levels of uncomfortable, and I just have to ask this question before we go any further. Please, somebody let me know. Can you guys get lip injections? Hold on. Can you guys get lip injections at salons? Is this something that happens in the UK? I need to know about this. I know you guys have Mackays and Greggs and all this other stuff, right? But I have to know about this. Is this something that's actually transpiring? Are people able to walk into hair salons or nail salons and also get lip injections? Because if so, I might need to invest. I have none. I have zero lips. My lips are boned. I have boneless lips. They have nothing in them. So... Please let me know. Obviously, I would never be interested in getting any type of surgeries for my face or anything like that. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I am totally for people getting surgeries and things such and so forth. I just think it's such a jarring because I saw the before and after and I was like, oh, my God, dude. I think I saw the before and after. I wasn't really sure. But uh, this girl looks uh, not human sometimes. It was literally so dry. These are the nails I went for. Then I got to the hairdressers and popped over to the deli before Beth started my hair. This deli is in Barry and it is insane. I picked up a sticky chicken wrap for me to eat when Beth had done my foils. This was a... Does anybody call her out on this, dude? I know this is a what I eat in a day video, but does like anybody... By the way, you got to wash this strap. Jesus Christ, you got some residue on that strap right there, dude. <laughs> you know, rinse that off a little bit. Scrub underneath there. Get a toothbrush and just start scrubbing it. But... Does anybody call you out if, like, you're walking around, you have friends, family that go, you're going overboard. This is a little bit too much. This is a little bit too much in your face right now. I mean, you got more in your face than you do in your stomach. This is an issue, and you're already fat. And that's fine if you want to get the surgery, but I just, like, want to know, does anybody say anything to these people? Like, how common is this to have people that look like that? Can somebody please let me know? Also, she is fat. She's very overweight. She's obese. And uh, she eats like shit. And a lot of people in the UK, for some reason, I didn't know this for a really long time because I'm not in deep with the UK culture. And a lot of people are going to hate when I say this, but UK culture to me is kind of like an offshoot of American culture. Because American culture is so incredibly bizarre and it, it, it's far reaching, right? And I know that we are technically an offshoot of the UK. I get it. I understand that. But let's be honest here for a second. Then we do it the best. We do it the best, right? We got obesity. We got UTIs. We got water parks. I know. You guys have all that stuff over there, but we do it better than anybody else. We got, we don't got, when have you ever heard somebody say, I'm going to go to the UK for a water park? You never hear that. You never hear that at all. But anyway, please let me know about that. I need to know. Seven hour hair transformation. Yeah. Seven hours is kind of crazy, bro. I mean, what are you even doing there for se seven hours is insane. You really sitting in that chair for seven hours while somebody puts tinfoil on your head. I don't know about that shit, bro. That shit sound exhausting to me. By the time she put my foils in, I was starving. So I had my wrap. It was sticky chicken with cheese. Sticky chicken does not sound good. By the way, I'm sorry if you hear something in the background. 
they, they just always, and this is like the only time I can record this today, dude. I waited, I waited, I waited for these guys to stop doing that shit. I'm not going to go downstairs and yell at these dudes for doing yard work. Like, what am I going to do? Like, stop mowing your lawn. I can't do that. It's not actually a lawn. I don't live anywhere that there is a lawn. FYI, I've never even lived in a place where there were lawns. I remember one time I went to this person's house, and she lived in a beautiful neighborhood. And I was, ha I was going to have sex with her. And there was a deer in her backyard. And I was like, is that an actual deer? And she was like, yeah. I had never saw a deer before. I mean, I saw them on the internet where they were like missing pieces of themselves or they were like doing weird stuff like jumping off the sides of buildings into water wells or, you know, like straight up just dying for no other reason than just not seeing the big ass train coming out of nowhere and they just explode. I don't know why deers are so dumb. Like, I get it. You're not, you did not develop, you know, in the sense of like, Darwinism, right? You didn't develop in the way that you would have you would have knew what a train was or what a bridge was or what a building was and shit like that. I understand that. But to one degree or another, you dump, you stupid. Go back to your woods. Why are you even out here, dude? Why are you so adamant about stepping out into the street when there are cars driving on that street? What is up with you? Somebody needs to have a conversation with these deers. It is actually a problem. A mayo and it was absolutely gorgeous. I think that's gonna be my new deli order. Then it was time to put the stennies in. Honestly, 28 inches. I am obsessed. Can you go? How unreal. It's all right. It's all right, dude. I mean, if you ask me, them lashes were a little bit too thick. Lashes were a little bit too long. I don't know. Like, it suspends my disbelief a little bit too much. I just kind of want human beings to look like human beings. And I look at somebody like this, I'm like, dude, <laughs> you get, you went off a little bit too far. You know, you, you went too far in a direction. And I know maybe she thinks it's cool or she thinks it's good or whatever, which is, you know, all the power to her and stuff like that. But, man, it is uh, is a little concerning, dude. But anyway, let's enjoy this Mickey D's. And then I popped a Mackey's. I actually got so much. I got the cheesy garlic bread dippers, 20 Damn, nugs. And 20 a McNuggets is kind of crazy, dude. That 20 piece is literally 870 calories. I noticed right off the bat because I'm a, I'm a firm believer that McDonald's is the definitive. The definitive fast food genre out there. I don't care what anybody says. I know a lot of people will sit there and go, no, it's not. It's not. It is. I don't know what the fuck I tell you, dude. It's the one that did it the best. Um, I'm not going to McDonald's very often with the exception of that dollar coffee because their prices have increased way too much. I don't know what they're thinking nowadays, having these prices be as high as they are, but they are and nobody's buying it anymore because it's way too expensive. A double Big Mac, but it wasn't a double. Double Big Mac is also really crazy as well. I think a Big Mac in and of itself is about 500 calories. A double Big Mac is probably stack on probably, uh... How much you want to think? I don't know, like an extra hundred do for that, for that extra patty? Look, Mark, it was just a normal one. I tried the garlic bread dippers. I yeah, bro, those lashes are literal insanity, dude. They're way too thick. Like, they're, I can't even see your eyes. I don't really like garlic, so I wasn't really sure on them, to be honest. But the Big Mac and the nugs were stunning. Why in a day? This morning, I woke up in Manet, and me and True got some bracky before getting ready for the Doll Beauty Live. Oh, bro. Okay, dude, look, man. I can't, uh, bro. <laughs> What the hell, bro? I'm, I'm just, I'm, this is in pain. It's, it's just too much. It's just too much for me, bro. It's just too much. We've reached a level in our society that we start culturally appropriating in ways. I mean, what are we really even doing here? This is, this is, this is the reverse of when you go on stage as a bodybuilder and they spray it on your body, but they leave the, the head part of you because, you know, what are you emphasizing on your face? Nothing. So you, you emphasize your body through the brown paint or the tanner, right? What is happening here, dude? I actually really like her actual face color. I don't know if her face here has any tanner on it right now, but it looks all right. I like her face, man. I just don't like all the filler and all this other stuff, but it's not for me, obviously. She's not trying to do it for me. It's for her, I suppose, bro. It just hurts me a little bit when people say that, dude, because it's like, I know that you're, I know you're doing it for yourself, but you're putting it out there, and I have to look at it, and I'm looking at that, and I'm going, God damn. And same thing back here, bro. What even happened here? What is this, dude? What is going on? Anyway, go ahead, let's let's go through the order, bro. Let's go through the order. We went for black sheep, and I got an iced coffee, a cheese toasty, and this smoothie. Okay. Yep. Yup. Oh. Yup. Yeah. Bowl, which came in a cup. Ah, yeah. You looking? You looking right? You looking real right? Yeah. I damn, bro. What the. Fuck? Then it was time to go over to the studio for the Doll Beauty Live. Guys, I got there, they had the sign with my face on. I was like, oh my god. I was so angsty. You sure that's your face? I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry, dude. Let's... Okay, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. It's just... I'm, I'm sorry, dude. It's just so... 
It's uncanny for me, dude. I don't see, look, I'm from Massachusetts. People here don't do plastic surgery. It was crazy for me. I was downtown. And I was with somebody and I saw two women coming out of Primark. There's a Primark downtown, great store. They never have anything for me. Nothing ever fits me with the exception of this shirt. I did buy this shirt at Primark. I think if I actually look at the collar, it does say Primark on it, does it? Does it say Primark on it? Somebody can zoom in. Does it say Primark? Whatever, I bought this shirt from Primark for like three bucks, okay? Sometimes you will come across a great deal. I only really shop at Primark because I'm not, I don't really care about myself in the sense of fashion. But anyway, I walked out of the store and I saw, what do you know it? Pigeons without legs, right? That's besides the point. But I saw these two women coming outside and they had these monstrous BBLs. I almost didn't realize they were BBLs until they turned to the side. And it, when I tell you the, the back went like this and it came out like at an angle and it went back down like a square. Like these women had like Minecraft bricks on the back of their, on their body cheeks, dude. And I almost couldn't believe it. Like I was like shocked. I just sat there and I was like, oh my God. Like I was actually blown away because it's my first time ever seeing an actual bbl or at least the first time me noticing it i'm usually okay if somebody wants to get a bbl and they just want to accentuate the natural beauty but for some reason there are demographics of people out there that just don't really care about the naturalness of their body and instead they want to blow out proportions like that one girl with the you know the quadruple 17 z boobs you know what i'm talking about the the ones that were so big that they were starting to burst or whatever i actually don't even know how she was able to do that or that guy that injected like uh, the oils into his arms or whatever to make them so incredibly big. Some people just don't care. Some people just want the exaggeration look or whatever, even though most people look at that and go, ooh, that's not real. That's kind of crazy. That's, un that's very concerning for the eyes. So I get it. I understand it. Um, that there are people out there that do want to do the crazy stuff. And I kind of, I do it too with the, you know, having a big meat such as myself. It's not natural, right? But at least that is naturally imbued upon me, right? But it's just so concerning because here where I live, you don't see people with this type of plastic surgery. You don't see it. I've never seen anybody in my life with somebody like this. Out in public, I've never seen it. Um, I also want to know, you got all that work done, but you, they do shit about the double chin. Going into this, I suffer with anxiety anyway, but like this was next level anxiety. I, you know, I get it, dude, suffering with anxiety. I just don't understand how so many people can suffer with anxiety and then put themselves in scenarios like this. Like you're a social media influencer, right? I mean, I, I, there's going to be, I get it, like, I have anxiety, too, to a one degree or another. Like, I, sometimes I don't like to call up and be like, hey, man, you know, I don't, I don't like to make appointments for myself. I do it anyway. I always like to hype myself up right before I do it. Uh, sure, we all have anxiety for certain things, right, dude? Uh, it, 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 it is what it is. But um, I just think it's weird. Dude, that bronzer, bro, on this one woman in the middle, dude, that shit is serious vibes but everyone was so lovely i had so much fun even though i had to get off a bit spice. early because i was feeling Yo. antsy but shout out to kelsey and tegan because they really looked after yeah this is not a good thing for anybody that's in the what i eat in a day genre dude god damn is there anything on this table that's nutritious in any way would you guys go to the snack aisle and just buy everything so much fun even though i had to get off a bit early because i was it's a, it's a nice aesthetic in here dude i like the bricks of this uh the wall back here it's pretty nice and angsty, but, shout but like god damn bro this is literally like every child's dream when they're like below the age of nine like this is what you want in your life to Kelsey and Tegan, maybe they, not the tiktok icons but the kit kats god damn bro really looked after me they put on so many snacks and i felt so grateful to be invited so thank you doll beauty after that there was only one thing on my mind it was a wingy i love a wingy this is true first time trying a wing stop as well and it was absolutely gorgeous we got the full flavor fix lemon pepper and barbecue flavor oh my god it was stunning i could literally eat a wingy right now what was that dude hold on i'm sorry dude i just gotta go back so many lips so many lips dude and i get it here i don't have a lot you guys can see it can you guys see my lips not a lot i have less capacity than most people right i'm sorry i'm not from a genre of the 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 community of white guys that have big lips i don't know I thought that we were no I thought that was normal for white guys to have no lips. But then I see a lot of dudes nowadays on like TikTok lives going like this. Licking their lips and chin. They got a lot of lips. And I'm like, dude, what? Dude, wh who gave this guy this so much fucking lips, dude? I thought us white guys didn't have lips. Why does this guy have five times more lips than me? This isn't this is not something that we should be. I I gotta quarrel with God. You know, hey bro, why did you not bestow upon me these giant, beautiful, voluptuous lips? But you bestowed upon me like a nine inch nose. What is up with that, dude? I mean, he's got, look at that. Sometimes I look at it from the side. I'm like, that's unnatural. That's unnatural. And thick, I will appreciate the thick eyebrows. It's a little bit annoying in the middle because I do have a little bit of growth on the middle. And I my eyebrows do grow up here a little bit and down here. This one doesn't grow at all on the side. A lot of people don't notice that. 
Uh, I'm a warrior. I'm sorry to say it. I got hit in the head with the baseball bat. That's why hair doesn't grow there anymore. I'm cool. Hashtag, you know, cool stuff. I don't know. Whatever, dude. Whatever, man. Perfects lemon pepper and barbecue flavor. Oh my god, it was stunning. I could literally. Chicken sandwich? All right, I'll give her that, dude. I mean, I see Corey's World literally going into the shop just getting cheese sandwiches, and I think that's diabolical. If you're just going into shops getting literal bread and cheese, there's nothing on it. That's all it is. Not even cooked, by the way. It's literally just cheese on bread. I always think, like, why even bother going into the shop and buying it when you can literally just they do not have craft at your house? Isn't that exactly what this is? Like, what kind of cheese is this? I'm sure it's not that good of cheese that you have to go to a store and actually buy it. By the way, this is just pre-made sandwiches. Like, it's not even that high-quality shit. So, like, just go to your kitchen and get some bread. You don't have bread? Why don't you have bread? Who doesn't have bread? That's incredible. Get your bread. Get some, get some cheese. Put it on there. Better yet, please put something else on it. That's crazy. Like, you're going to a store to buy cheese bread. Go home, make an actual sandwich, dude. Jesus. They eat a wingy right now. We did some shopping, and then I popped to the shop to get some snacks. Bro, this woman, real deal, will be eating, like, straight-up garbage throughout the entire day. Like, you're putting so much trash in your body in more than one way, obviously. I mean, it is what it is. You'll have to do whatever you want. But, um, it is concerning, bro. It is concerning. These people have way too much money on their hands where they could just literally be out here just buying Coca-Colas. I don't even know what that sausage roll in a pre-made bag. I don't know about that, dude. Cheese sandwiches. Like, hey, what are you doing, bro? You don't have time to make food for yourself? I went for a cheeky little meal deal and frazzles crisps. How have I forgot about these? They were stunning. It was a cutesy little canal by our hotel. And the overline is kind of insane on that too, bro. There's an overline on that. That's insane. Oh, man. Frazzles crisps. How have I forgot about these? They were stunning. It was a cutesy little canal by our hotel. So we went for a walk down there. And Sometimes I love it that I'm a dude and I don't really have to abide by the social normativity of what is acceptable and what is not acceptable based off the beauty standard. Like, nobody, nobody really cares what guys wear. Like, when was the last time you walked down the street and you saw a guy wearing, like, a wife beater and Tim's and you're like... This is ridiculous. Guys got to wear something better. I can't believe guys are outside walking around like this. No, never. You never heard that. Nobody cares if you see a guy walking outside and he's he's dressed like a scrudge. Nobody cares. But you see a girl walking down the street and she's dressed like a Muppet. Everybody's going to look at her and go, this is a disgrace. This is disgusting. I mean, within a certain degree or another. Me personally, I don't really care what anybody wears. Unless you're literally walking outside with dick hanging out. I'm pretty okay with it. And... I get that women have like these different sets of standards and when you're younger, maybe you fall into a trap. Maybe you fall into a, tra a trap of like, I have to keep trying to conform to society standards of what they want and that gets exaggerated and that gets exaggerated and that gets exaggerated and then you go on social media and it gets exaggerated even more and then suddenly you don't look like you, you're a human anymore and like, I, I don't know if this would be a good representation of like, if an alien race came down and they hit the ground, you know, this alien race hit the ground, and they said, Valise Navidad, what's going on? And we said, listen, this is our, this is the person that we have to represent us. I would not put, put that person, I don't know who I would actually put as a person that we could, probably Henry Cavill, right? You would put Henry Cavill up there. I mean, this is the most gorgeous human being. Well, but then again, that's an exaggeration of a human being. Like, we would probably want somebody, put Danny DeVito up there. Danny DeVito, that's a good representation of a human being right there. Danny DeVito, Kevin Bacon... Let me think about this for a sec. Tom Cruise, 100%. Tom Cruise, right? Tom Cruise? Those three guys, put those up there. Obviously, we want to be inclusionary. We'll put some women up there. Caitlyn Jenner. And in the evening, how we had joined us, we were all fancying something different. She's okay. Um, yeah. Different. So I ordered pasta. True got seafood boil, and Carrie had got a wing. This, this is one day, by the way. This is just literal one day of food, and it's just like it's never ending. It's never ending, dude. And by the way, you got the sauce. Why are you eating this on the bed? You don't got any other place to eat this. Like, it's not a table in this entire room, dude. You, you're eating it on the bed. It's insane. Kind of jealous when you're not gonna lie. The show some, show some pride in the fact that you're at a hotel room. I get it. It's not your room, but still, goddamn. Why in a day? Leaving my all-inclusive holiday. This is our last day, and we leave. Cheese and, yo, you guys in the UK gotta do some shit about this, bro. What am I looking at right now? What is this shit? What are you guys doing over there? Is this okay for you guys? What is this just random, random shit you just found in the back room? You just decided to just throw it on a sandwich, dude. Cheese, mushrooms, and bacon that's undercooked as fuck with the exception of this one piece right here, which looks like somebody overcooked it. We got to do something about this shit. You guys know you can eat actual good food, right? Like, I would rather slide my tongue in the butter over here than eat this shit. Today, so for my last all-inclusive bracky, I went for a cheese and bacon sandwich. With yeah, so it's also, God damn, bro. Taking lessons from Becky Jones over here on this bowl. Some mushrooms, and then I got God. chunky cereal. This was my last ice coffee. The ice coffee. 
That's disrespectful. Oh, I'm guessing this is a solid dish, huh? I mean, salad. I just, I'm sorry, dude. Like, just, these just ran. Who's eating just straight up? I hope somebody has a knife. Are you really just getting just giant slices of, of, of tomatoes and just putting it on the thing? Do you just eat tomato slices like that? You could, you could suck me the fuck off, bro. I'm not eating just random tomato slices, bro. What is this thing? What is this, carrot cubes? Is that tuna? These in this hotel are stunning. We went okay, we got the fries, obviously. That shit look gross as fuck. That shit's probably been sitting there for a few days. That may not actually be lasagna. That's probably something else that just started fermenting. Lunch about one, and then I got this lasagna. This is. I don't know why so many people in the UK eat the foods just randomly on platters. Like, we have those here. Like, if you go to a grocery store... There'll be like those little food bars or whatever that you can go up to and just start. You'll never see. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You never. Have, they're just there just for, for nice decoration. I don't know why they consistently smell. They never refill the food. It's always bad. Uh, I've never in my entire life. And I've been on this planet for a little bit of time. I've never in my entire life ever saw a human being walk up to one of those food bars and ever look at that shit as it was delectable food. I've never seen somebody get one of the spatulas and put it in a bowl or whatever the fuck they have there. I've never seen it personally. And I guess in the UK, it, I guess I, this is different. Obviously, they're out of thing. But she did go to that food bar and she did get something in, in a previous video. And I just want to know, is that common for you guys? Do you have better food than us? Because when we go to the supermarket, dude, and we see those things, we just kind of look at that like this. Why is it moving? What is that? Is that tuna? And then the woman goes, no, honey, sorry, it's not tuna. It's it's actually crab legs. And you go, oh, what, crab legs? And then it's it's always disappointing. It's never good. Never good. Best lasagna I've ever tasted in. Mayonnaise. Oh, my God, dude. The mayonnaise dispenser is so UK. My life. I got some mayo with it, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry. Hold up, bro. That went by too quick. I got to go real quick. Absolutely gorgeous. Went back to the hotel room, got ready for the airport, and checked out. I can't believe it's taking me till the last day to go to the subway, because this is the best subway. Yo, that, that meat was OD cooked, bro. That shit was literally just straight up like two shades darker than it should have been. Hold up. Let me see that shit real quick. I got to see that shit. No mayonnaise on that shit. Nothing. No lubricants on there. That shit was dry as fuck. That shit. Oh, there is some lubricants. I'll give her that. There's some lubricants on that shit. You got a thumb ring? Mmm. I'm just finding more and more stuff I don't like, man. Subway ever. I got a foot long BMT. Just, just walked in some guy's random house. It's just like a family meeting, did it? It literally looked like there was like a family. Like, it looked like she just walked into a family's house while they were having a party. Subway, this is the Am I wrong? Hold on. Ever. I got like, doesn't this look like she just kind of walked in and there was like a family like celebrating a birthday party and they all look back like, who is this? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, it looks like that. Long BMT. It was stunning. Why does she keep going? Bro, whatever that thing is right there. That's crazy, bro. Like, I promise. If you ever saw me go into a restaurant like this, bro, and there was that in the middle, bro, I don't think I'm eating anything four or five feet away from that. And obviously, we have to get our all-inclusive dinner. One. Bro. Whoo. Do they not do the tanner on the eyes? On the inside of the eyes? Oh, you put, like, the thing on it, right? You put, like, those little Patrick Bateman things, right? You, you Right? When you spray yourself down, the Batman goggles or whatever, right? You do one of these. I don't know. But that's really bright on the eyes, man. And your neck is also really bright. More time. The theme tonight was all around the world. I got noodles, salmon, and rice. This is the hotel we're staying at. And Yo, get the fuck out of my mouth right now. What is that? Is this real, bro? An M&M drink? What does it taste like? Chocolate? Is it just chocolate milk? What the fuck is that? New ick unlocked. We were no way, bro. That sounds... That's not what I think that is, bro. Ain't no way. What? Somebody gotta let me know what that is. Outside the hotel with all our luggage. Yeah, no shit. No fucking shit. You just did that shit, bro. Ain't no you. We were waiting outside the hotel with all our luggage. No way she made that fucking face, bro. There's no way that woman literally bought an M&M drink and was disappointed in the flavor. What are you expecting? I don't even know if human be. I didn't know that we even made that. That would be something that you bought when you were like five years old or six years old and you begged your mom to buy it and you would have that same reaction, never buy it ever again. Why are you as an adult walking into a store seeing an M&M drink and you buy it? There's a smorgasbords of liquid sustenances that you could have easily indulged in and said you went for the M&M drink. Get the fuck out of here, bro. It was so embarrassing. I tried this M&M's milky on the transfer on the way home. It was the worst thing I've ever played. Yeah, no fucking shit, dude. You're... you're... 
and you went to BK, and you went to BK, dude, get the, you don't deserve, you, you don't deserve, man, this is all shame for you, bro, you got an M&M drink, and you went to BK, my mouth in my life, got a biggie wiggy king, god damn, can you, are you capable of eating anything nutritious, at the airport, we literally had to scoff it, so quick, because we were boarded, on the plane, I bought this little chewy snuggle sack, I got nuggies and some pre- Singles, and then I literally slept the whole way. We landed at 3 a.m. and I had a broken suit. Why in a day? Today I travelled from Cardiff to London to Manny. Bro, what I... is this like? What is that? I got to the train station in Cardiff. I popped to Asda. I got myself a chicken meal sandwich. Couldn't you just make that yourself? I don't know why these people put themselves in positions to where they have to buy chicken sandwiches. If you're going to buy food outside, can it at least be something that you couldn't have made by yourself? Like, I don't know. Like, if you're outside, dude, get a pizza, get a get a burger and fry or something like that. A chicken sandwich, though? Like, I just don't get it, dude. Can't you just make a chicken sandwich yourself? Like, I got some I got some deli meat right now in my fridge. I can just make a better sandwich than this. And I got lettuce. And I got good mayonnaise, dude. And I got some chips on the side, dude. I can have that... I got Tupperware too. I can literally make that sandwich right now and I would have a better meal than you. And you probably spent like $9 on a sandwich there. Get, 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 get your shit together, bro. And I got some porky pears. I've got so much coming up the next few days. So Rescue Remy is my bestie. First, I went to London for an exciting What the fuck was meeting. that? Guys, I cannot wait to tell you. Can't you just get like a regular... what this meeting's about i'll be able to tell you in like a month or so and when i tell you it is the best news ever. i don't understand this uh is this like a pre-made coffee that they can buy couldn't you just go to the coffee and get it like uh hey can i get a cream and sugar can i get a coffee a cream and sugar or something like a medium or something like that why are you buying pre-made it's probably the biggest thing i've done to how many donuts does she eat bro on tiktok and you're literally just not ready for it then I met up with Truly. We got on the train to Manor. Truly saved our life. Went to the shop on the train. Got us a can of Coke. And Are you really capable of eating anything that's nutritious at all, bro? Coca-Cola with a candy bar? My God, your taste buds got to be obliterated, bro. Why are you so orange? Oh! Brownie because we were starving. Then we got... You were starving, so you had a brownie? Yo, this is kind of crazy, bro. I'm, I'm, look, I'm sorry, dude. My bad, dude. My bad. I'm not trying to be mean, dude. But, like, anytime I see her in different lights, I'm looking like, dude, you're literally never white. Like, it's not even a, it's not even a human being color. I, I've never seen a, like, I, it's not even the Simpsons type shit, dude. Like, what are we doing, man? Lost trying to find our hotel, but when we got to our hotel, it was stunning. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that antique car thing. Ah, it's pretty nice, bro. Some Christian Grey shit. I feel like this is what I saw in Fifty Shades of Grey. I feel like when that one woman came in there. By the way, that Fifty Shades of Grey movie was garbage, right? We, we, we all on agreements with that shit. I know that there was a whole bunch of like women going like, oh my god, this is such a great movie. And there was like women apparently like going into uh, the movie to watch it. And they had like cucumbers and vibrators and shit. And the seats were covered in like vaginal liquids, which I don't even know if that's true, by the way. Like... Why are you going into a movie theater with cucumbers? Like, first of all, you don't have, like, actual dildos. Wouldn't that be a better... If you're going to do something... But first, get the fuck out of here, bro. Anyway, the movie wasn't even hot. Like, there was some scenes where the woman's boobs were out, but I saw more man boob than anything else. And then also, it wasn't even hot. Like, this dude would be like, yeah, now I'm about to spank you. And she's like, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I want you to do that. And he's like, well, then okay, I'm going to go then. And she's like, wait, okay, do it, but just three times and they did three times and she was like i can't believe you did that oh i'm so disappointed in you and he's just like i'm sorry and i'm looking like what do you mean you're sorry what do you t she told you this shit was good for her she told you she wanted that shit and now you're sitting here talking about you're apologizing dude Get, suck me off bro i'm not fucking apologize you literally said do it th by the way three times is crazy i don't know if you guys have ever been in a scenario before where you're about to commit uh, sexual activity and the person goes can you just stroke it like three times no i'm not what are you talking that's not how sex works when you're pre-ordering sexual activities no i'm not doing that that's not how that fucking works okay we move from one thing to the next we can have communication about it but you're not going can i have this numerical value what do you think this is a drive-through penis no i'm not doing that shit that's crazy but she was like super disappointed She's like i can't believe this guy by the way she married him in like the third movie so obviously she didn't really care about him to that degree by the way that third movie was garbage the second one was really bad too first one was least tolerable but it was always bad. Like, I don't know. Couldn't you just watch regular porn? That shit would have been way better than that. Like, I get it. The main character was hot, but he wasn't that hot. Then in. We stayed in Dakota in Manchester thanks to Doll Beauty because we're going on there live tomorrow. And I'm literally just in love with this room. It was unreal. There's only one thing I had on my mind. Okay, it's, uh, it's, it's cool because it's pink. I would probably just eat it because it's pink. <sighs> Bro.
pink archies the only reason i got this is because it's pink and i got a large pink mayo as well it's not it's a sauce that's a pink sauce I thought that was like a milkshake or something. Was this food looking stunning? It was absolutely good. Don't you get tired of just eating everything brown? Like, isn't this kind of like... Everything you eat is either deep fried or fast food or a combination of the both. And it's... It's just too... Like, do you not feel garbage after this? Like, do you eat... You eat so consistently ass that I just wonder how do you feel good throughout the day? This shit would have me depressed. Just. I got a cheeseburger, wurgy, mac and cheese bites, and curly fries. Then me and Shrekky got an early night for an exciting day tomorrow. Why are you eating a tent? But that's your mom? Yo, your mom don't got nothing to say to you about this, bro? Your mom never hit you up with a, yo, why you don't look like me? Today, I'm going to see the sugar babe. But first, I'm spending the morning with my absolutely gorgeous nan. Yo, this is what I'm talking about. You at the supermarket, dude, you see one of these? You move on, bro. This shit is never gonna be good. This shit has literally probably been out for four days, okay? But, all right, go off, queen. We went to Maury's and obviously I took Getting corn is also kind of crazy, bro. You ain't never gonna catch me get with the corn. And Maury's salad. The salad bar was... Yo, I don't know about Look that. Look how fun it is. This is just Carbs. pure happiness. I went for the pasta, the rice, the noodles, the beetroot, and obviously we... <sighs> was there no meat, bro? There's some eggs right there. That's crazy as hell to have oh, as many eggs as there are right there, bro. Covered it in cheese and we make sure we squeeze that right to the brim. Oh, baby. A beet true, and obviously we covered it in cheese and we made sure we squeeze. Oh, honey, why is it that you don't look like me at all? It it almost kind of seems like you're not even the same person. Squeeze that right to the brim. I grabbed a granola yogurt thing and an iced coffee and we went down the waterfront and ate breathy together. It was so cute. Then we went to do some shopping and we had a little dance. Why does the floor look like that? I guess because of the walking patterns, dude. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> um <laughs> uh just stick to the food bro all right just uh just stick to the food i wonder why that fan is pointed that way bro that's uh guys i'm ready for the sugar babe i'm going 20 with... pieces crazy bro Corey and Leah. oh that's cory hold up bro hold hey, up i'm going with cory cory kind of looking different from the back bro Corey kind of looking real different from the back right now, bro. And I mean, there's a lot of back. That's that's actually real surprising, dude. Dude, what are you even wearing? What is this like the the the, the piece of pe paper that they use underneath the pizza? What is he wearing here? Really, uh, and on the way we. Yo, you guys gotta calm down. Too much Tanner. That shit is ridiculous. I'm seeing too much right now. What is the rhyme or reason to this? Like, did he? Did you just go in there and just go, just throw it on my face? No rhyme or reason. I don't care where you put it. Just splat it on my face. What is going on, bro? It's not, it's not right. We yeah, and your boyfriend don't tell you like, yo, what is this? Why you look like that? This is, why is your face so brown in certain spots? Are You look Latina, kind of. Like, there's not a question about that, bro. You guys from the UK. Why are you guys looking like this? I have to get a Mackie. Like I'm thinking, that, I'm thinking that the Nuggets kind of got a little bit. The nut, you look like the Nuggets. You're literally looking like the Nuggets. Okay, hold up now, calm down. For the sugar babe, I'm going with Corey and Leah, and on the way we had to get a Mackey's. I got 20 nugs, and obviously I got barbecue sauce. Drink of choice was Mali Coke and a Mali Pie. Bro, Corey looking real different from the back, bro. Pineapple. Corey was on the body. Yo, from the side too, dude. The Leah's on the water because she's designated driver. Corey and Leah actually got me a JLS Prezi. And I Yo, she really darker than you, bro. That's crazy as hell. That's crazy as hell, bro. That's crazy as hell, bro. Are you smiling right now? I don't even... Oh, listen, I'm dude. Obsessed. Whatever, man. We got to... Crystal, and it was outside. The sun was shining. The vibes were absolutely immaculate. Okay, oh, really? The sun was shining? Couldn't Crystal, tell. And it was outside. The sun was shining. Never would have known. The vibes were absolutely immaculate. We met so many of you guys as well, and you were all so lush. Normally, I hate going at the front for crowds, but for sugar babes, I've done it twice now. What are the sugar babes? That just literally shows how much I love the sugar babes. It was unreal. They sang a banger after banger. And it was actually just the best time ever. This is the second time I've seen them this year as well. And they're just so good. You're really good. UK culture is kind of weird, bro. I don't know about this shit. Is we this... stopped off at the service on the way home. Yeah, I... nah, bro. That's crazy, bro. You did not stop at... You did not stop at one of these claw machines, dude. You... That's insane. I'm surprised you got anything. I myself a little teddy. 
Her name's Penny. For $15? And she's so cute. We got another Mackie. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. That's tough, man. That's real tough. Woo! Dude, you guys, listen. It almost kind of seems like when you guys turn 28 or 26 or 24, you guys turn into like 40-year-olds. What is going on, dude? Why is everybody look so either young or really old, bro? Corey looked like he got a... Corey looked like he got a family. Corey looked like he got a couple kids on. It looked like we sent, we sent one of his kids to the school right now. It looked like he's taking a picture for somebody's, like, somebody just graduated. This is the dad face you, you do when you when your kid graduates from college. Man, he's um, uncomfortable. I got nugs again. Bro, you got to get nuggets with every meal? What the fuck you doing? And, and chicken mayo. I added some cheese. I'm actually on fries this time. I never normally get fries. But this was stunning and so needed. Why eat in a day? Oh my god, I haven't got a why eat in a day in so long. I forgot how to say why eat in a day. Oh my god, that literally took me about 10 times to say. This is my first one since Holly. And we're going to Ikea. I cannot remember the last time I went to Ikea. That's all you got from Ikea, dude? All right, bro. You got the chocolate cake. You got the cookies. And then you got... Oh, is that a water for you? The foods. These meatballs oh, ooh, are... Ooh, them, them meatballs is looking kind of yeasty. Absolutely smack. I did ask if I'd get pasta and gravy. They're there, but they only did the mash. So I got 12 meatballs, cranny sauce, mash, and a That's, That cake. looks disgusting. Meatballs and mashed potatoes? Yo, you guys got to get better food, bro. You guys don't have to eat like this, man. This is not... This is unconstitutional shit. You guys don't give a fuck about yourself at all? Like, maybe the pasta on the bottom here, but it's a little dry. It's a little dry. No cheese on that shit. With it, with it parmesan, I don't know. Even your knives look depressing, bro. What is even going on here, dude? You really bought this, huh? You spent money on this? They didn't, they didn't give this to you for free? They didn't... You would have had to pay me for to eat this, bro. Mashed potatoes and meatballs? What? I mean, that's so weird. Like, okay... I've had moments in my life where I eat like chicken breast and oatmeal, but I was only eating that just to get by because like I don't really care about eating, right? If I'm just trying to if I'm trying to get fuel, I'm just eating what I know is nutritious so I can get it done. Like I don't care. I'm just not I'm not eating for the flavor. I'm just trying to get it down my mouth as fast as hold up. Hold up. I'm trying to eat to facilitate for the growth of the muscle or the growth of meat. And that's okay, right? But if you're going out and you're trying to eat for flavor and you're over here getting 12 meatballs and a scoop of mashed potatoes and some random, I don't even know what this is, sauce, I guess this is okay in terms of flavor, but like even still, god damn, bro. This is possibly the ickiest try. Bro, that grandma has some so shit spilled on her. Hold up. cranny sauce, mash, and a dime cake. Dude, that grandma, it's damn, that grandma got fucked up. Somebody threw some shit at her, bro. Damn, that's tough, dude. Somebody got upset. You see all that shit? You see that, bro? That grandma got some shit thrown at it's her. It's possibly the ickiest trolley ever, but it's so worth it when the food's this stunning. I open my drink and it squirted every- Oh, okay. So that's probably what happened with the other girl then. That's probably what happened with grandma. Yeah, she probably got that same shit. And it probably just like it squirted all over her. Squirting is a crazy ass word, by the way. The ickiest trolley ever, but it's so worth it when the food's this uh, stunning. What, how did it squirt though? Like, how? Then I open my drink and it squirted everywhere. I actually got swilled by Ikea. It went all over the table and in my meatballs. Bro. Ooh. There's no way that was going to stop me from eating them, though. Okay. They were absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't tried Ikea meatballs, you need to. And that dime cake, stunning. We passed Greggy's on the way home, so I got myself an iced coffee. I chilled over Corey's. Why do you need an overline if your lips stunning. is already extended we out three Greggy's inches? On the way home. I just don't get it. Like, if your lips is already out three inches, why do you need that overline like this? I just don't understand. Why do you need more? So all right guys that's the end of the video today let me know what you guys think down below i'm actually very interested in all the opinions that you guys have about this particular woman and people in the uk in general somebody i gotta know like this is like crazy information to me so i need to know about all the things i asked in this video please let me know about those lip injections please let me know about the tanner please let me know about literally all of it by the way yo sometimes Corey be looking real good in his own videos and it's very easy to look good in your own videos i want everybody to know i i'm not using any filters and i probably will never use filters unless uh actually i would never use filters unless it was to something to make my meat even bigger which would be impossible but cory be looking whoo damn man cory bro that's tough bro it's cool we all have moments in our life where we don't look the best and things such and so forth but cory looking real good in his videos and then other people's videos is it really filters, bro? Is it really, like, everybody using filters like this, dude? Is it? Bro, the amount of people I see nowadays that people go, yep, they're using a filter. And I go, what? Really? Oh, my God. And I'm always shocked because it's true. 
Why do so many people use filters nowadays, bro? It's insane. You can literally reduce your face by 30% in some of these angles. I mean, look at that shit. That's insane. What is that, bro? God damn, bro. God damn, man. Anyway, guys, we go on the video here. I know this was an unconventional what I eat in a day. I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to focus on the food, but it was really hard. It was really hard to focus on what, what they were actually eating. And um, the other things were that were transpiring were a little bit more concerning for me, in my opinion. So I'm sorry, but I hope this was entertaining regardless. I, I'm... I don't know what to say, bro. Please, somebody answer my questions down below. I, I need to know about this shit. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you watched the video in its entirety, please uh, write it down below by letting me by letting me know that you you watched it. That was very disconjointed. Uh, write down below Meatball, like the ones that she, they got from Ikea. I've never been to Ikea. I, I mean, I've, I've shopped at Ikea before, but only online because I don't go outside because I'm a fucking you know, hermit or whatever. I'm like Obi-Wan Kenobi in episode four. But anyway... um. Thank you for watching today's video, you delicate, amazing, beautiful person. Uh, you look beautiful today. I like the way your hair looks. I like the way your eyebrows look. Your facial hair is uh, on fleek. And if you're a guy or if you're a woman, if you're like a Latina woman, I know there's a lot of the Latinas out there that have a lot more facial hair than even me. Um, looks good. Very delicate. I can see that you take care of it. Even if you don't take care of it, it looks like you take care of it, which is a compliment either way. And I also like your eyebrows. Please, let me lick them all the time throughout the day. I can't get enough. They're so delicious. mm mm, -mm. Anyway, social medias will be linked down below in the description. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.